Today we'll be playing through this old Filmo sound amplifier. This particular one is all stock as far as I can tell. And that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm sure there's components in here that should be changed out, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And I've been playing it a bit just as it is. So that's how it sounds with a Telecaster, and now here it is with an old Epiphone Olympic with a Lawler P90 pickup. The tubes are two 6v6s, a 5y3, and the other two, this one's a 6j7, and this one I think is a 6sl7. The only thing that I've done to it is to remove the tube that was here in the front right corner, and then one that was back here. I think those were just for the film projecting functions. So I took them off. And here it is with a PRS S2 with DiMarzio PAF style pickups. So far we've been listening to the guitar plugged straight into the amp with no pedals, but sometimes 
with this amp I like to use a compressor pedal and just set for some very subtle compression. Not so much so that it sounds overly compressed, but it just pushes the amp nicely and smooths things out. Stay tuned for more videos on this amp as I do some work to it. I do really like the way it sounds now, but um, I had the tone control all the way up for the whole video. And even with it all the way up, sometimes it sounds a little bit dark to me, especially on cleaner settings. And at the very least, I should probably change out some of the old capacitors and the power cord. So stay tuned for updates. And stay tuned for updates on my latest find, which is another Filmo Sound Model 179. I was lucky enough to find this recently in a thrift store for only around $20. So here's a little sneak peek at some footage from the upcoming video for that Filmo Sound. Let's see here. $29 for it, which is pretty good. Now, I have no idea if it works. Uh, I don't know what con condition the important parts are in. I haven't even taken it out yet, but I figure for 29 bucks, it's worth it. <laughs> 